Hello. What we have here is an assortment of clips, links, magazines, and such. You know, you continually hear the left and, and uninformed Democrats basically call everything a clip. You know, everything's a 30-round clip or, a, or whatever. And they, they don't seem to understand what the hell they're talking about. So I'm hoping this might be a little informative. And I'll go through these each one at a time. We'll just start at the bottom here. This here is your your basic 5.56 five, green tip ammo. This is not high power rifle ammunition. Not by any means. They seem to think an AR-15 shoots this is, and is a high powered rifle. These are not high powered. These would be high powered. This, not so much. These are basically a 22 caliber uh, bullet. It's not like a 22 long rifle. Now what we have here, this, this is a clip. A clip is designed to hold ammunition. Here's some more 5.56. Five, There's 10 rounds. Not, this is on a clip. You know, you, you can call it a stripper clip, but that this is what a clip is. This here is also a clip. This clip holds 30 out 6 ammunition and will actually be inserted into a M1 Grand. But the clip is strictly to hold the ammunition. It's not really a feeding device like a magazine. This here is also a clip. This is a clip with some 50 BMG ammunition. Now, this is high powered ammunition. This is not. This will punch a hole in an engine block. This probably is not. Now, it'll it'll break things. It'll make holes in some metals, but this is not a high-velocity round. But these, these are all clips, and there's other forms of clips for many different calibers, including pistols and different rifles. This here is 50 caliber linked. This is what would feed uh, M2... A1 Browning machine gun. Now 50 caliber. These are links and as they feed through these bolts will be pulled out of this, inserted, fired, and the links and the casings will be ejected out of the gun. Now many of you may seem to think why does he have linked ammunition? That's illegal. Actually the linked ammunition is not illegal. And I do have a gun that will shoot this but it's not a machine gun. I don't own anything that's a fully automatic weapon. I, I, I don't even own anything that's a fully semi-automatic weapon, which is another made-up term just like assault rifle. I mean, if we want to make up terms, you know, go right ahead. But the reality is these are clips, these are links, and these are magazines. I have a few here. This here is for a Walther PPKS 380 auto. Fairly small. Holds six rounds, seven rounds. This here is for holds 22 long rifle. This goes this particular magazine goes to a Ruger 1022 semi-automatic rifle, which is a wonderful gun for rabbit hunting. This magazine here holds 45 auto ammo and this particular round goes to a Springfield XDM 45 auto this is an extended magazine for a 9 millimeter Smith & Wesson that I have this holds 30 rounds but it doesn't make it any more dangerous than this or this now this here is your standard 30 round AR-15 magazine not a big deal. You know, there are mags that hold fewer rounds. There are mags that hold more rounds. And anybody that's ever shot an AR-15 and knows how to eject and insert a magazine realizes that the capacity of the magazine really doesn't mean a lot. You just have to use more magazines. This here is a 20-round magazine for a SCARS 17S 308. Now, this here would be a high-powered rifle. This is not. 
because that takes these. Yes, this little teeny bullet next to this great big bullet. Now these here, these are 30-06. Those are also high powered. This is not. Now some of you that have heard the term banana mag, well, here's a banana mag. Now, made by Chiquita, nice and yellow, holds 30 rounds, and goes into an AK-47. This is an actual banana. Um, in some liberals' minds, that's probably more dangerous than everything else you see on this table. Why? Well, because they're about as smart as that banana. Yes, this is a joke. Those of you who understand will get it. Those of you who don't will be putting things on my, you know, comments that basically make no sense. All of these have different purposes. These here, for the most part, will not function without this here. This holds ammunition. This feeds ammunition. This both holds and feeds ammunition, as well as this. But these are clips. These are all clips right here. These are links, and these are magazines, including my Chiquita magazine. That, again, is a banana. Now, I'm going to try to show you what an actual clip and how it works. You take a magazine. This AR-15 30-round magazine. Nothing dangerous about it. Everybody seems to think it is. Now, if you're, if you're a bad guy and you're on the receiving end of this, well, yeah, you might think it's dangerous. But I'm not a bad guy. You put this feeding device onto this. Let's see if I can free up both hands. Let's see how well this will work. All right, once you got this on there, and you take this, insert that into there, and you simply push everything in there, and that right there. Now you take them back apart, and now that's how you load a 10 round clip into a 30 round magazine. Now, if I wanted to fully load this, I'd have to have two more of those. Yes, that's green tip ammo. Something else liberals are a little weird about. Now, I hope this is helpful to some. Those of you who may not know the difference between a clip and a magazine, and maybe even a link or belt feed, which this would actually work in a machine gun. No, it's not illegal to have. No, I don't have a machine gun. That just happens to be how I got the ammunition. They will be, you know, when I go to shoot them, I will have to remove them all from that because the gun I have shoots them one at a time. I have to open it up, put in one, close it up, and I can shoot. This here is an M1 Grand, which is a semi-auto. Uh, and it's not a scary black rifle because it's wood and, and nobody is scared about it. But it functions just exactly the same as an AR-15 does. It's a semi-automatic and matter of fact, that is a high-powered weapon, gun, bullet. That is not. You can see the difference in size. So we'll put all these next to each other. Yeah, it's a 223 or 556. That's what an AR-15 shoots. Those are 30-06, which these particular rounds are not used for hunting, but that's a hunting caliber. And that's a 50 BMG, which, if you're at the receiving end, is just kind of devastating. But is also used for hunting. Not these particular rounds, but there are people that shoot large game with these. Now, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some people that are going to post up comments, you know, saying, oh, you're an idiot, you don't know what you're talking about, da, 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 da. Well, you know what? I have a better idea of what's going on. I have a better idea of what I'm talking about than most of these gun controllers 
and many of our senators and congressmen because they don't seem to understand that there is a difference between a full automatic weapon an automatic weapon and the comment about fully semi-automatic is actually an idiot that's there's no such a thing uh, just like there's no such a thing as an assault rifle um, I can assault hell I can assault you with that banana if I throw that banana at you that makes that an assault banana now, if I threw any of this at you, it'll make it an assault item because they threw it at you and assaulted you with it. My friend here trying to investigate and check it out. She don't know what's going on. She probably wants the banana. Now, I hope this is helpful. I hope some people that are in the gun control side look at this and will actually realize, you know what, there is a difference. Or you can, you know, you can post nasty little comments. I don't care. Because, quite honestly, it doesn't hurt my feelings. And those of you who are pro-Second Amendment, I actually hope you get a kick out of this and spend a little time laughing your butt off and realize that, yeah, hey, you know what? That guy's right. So thank you, and thanks for watching.